Limits of indeterminate form. Evaluate limit of the function x plus 3 divided by x cubed plus 27 as x approaches minus 3. So let's see what happens to the function when we substitute the limiting value minus 3. So we get minus 3 plus 3 over minus 3 cubed plus 27. And that gives us 0 over 0. Now if we get 0 over 0 by substituting the limiting value, that means that it is indeterminate form. Now, it does give us an idea that we have a factor x plus 3 in the numerator, as you can see here, and also a factor x plus 3 in the denominator. Now if we could simplify and factor those out and cancel them, then we can solve the question. Well, when we get 0 over 0, we definitely know that x is not equal to minus 3. So the function itself is not defined at x equals to minus 3. And it suggests that we have a hole at x equals to minus 3. But even if the function is not defined at minus 3, it can have limit at that point, correct? So that's what we are going to check whether the limit exists or not. And if it exists, what is the value, correct? So we'll solve for it. So limit x approaches minus 3, and we have x plus 3 over x cubed plus 27. Now, the denominator can be factored. So let's factor the denominator and see what do we get. In the numerator, we have x plus 3, right? So denominator is of the form a cube plus b cube, rather 3 cube, right? 27 is 3 cube. So it could be written as x plus 3 times. Let me write it here clearly for you so that you get the idea. We have x approaches minus 3. We have x plus 3 in the numerator. And we have x cube plus 3 cube in the denominator. 27 is 3 cube, right? So we are expanding this using the formula a cube plus b cube, which is a plus b times a square plus minus a b plus b square, right? So we'll expand it using the formula and we get x plus 3 times x square minus 3x plus 3 square, which is 9. So that's what we get. And now you can see that we do have a factor x plus 3 in the numerator as well as in denominator. Now these can be cancelled, right? x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is 1. And so the expression can be simplified as limit of this function x approaches minus 3 and the function is 1 over x squared minus 3x plus 9. And now here we can apply the laws of limit. Substitute x equals to minus 3 and find the limit. So we get 1 over minus 3 squared minus 3 times minus 3 plus 9, which is minus 3 squared is 9, and this is minus and minus is plus. So again, we get 9. So we get 9 plus 9 plus 9, right? Which is 1 over 27. So limit of this function as x approaches minus 3 is 1 over 27. And therefore, our answer is limit of the function x plus 3 over x cubed plus 27 as x approaches minus 3 is equals to 1 over 27. Right? So that's how we are going to do it. So factoring is the technique which we use to solve this indeterminate form of the function. Thank you.